Hello and welcome to the Amazon Simple Email Service, SES, Deliverability Learning Series. My name is Ala, a Senior Email Deliverability Manager for Amazon SES. I help customers with email deliverability with a focus on inbox deliverability and placement. Amazon SES is a cloud email service provider that can integrate into any application for bulk email sending. Senders from small startups to large enterprise accounts can use SES to reach their customers but getting messages to the recipient's inbox can be tricky. Email deliverability refers to the ability to successfully deliver emails to recipients' inboxes. Understanding best practices for email deliverability and what mailbox providers expect from bulk senders is key to ensuring your messages reach your customers' inboxes. Mailbox providers like Gmail, Outlook, and Yahoo evaluate factors like sender reputation at IP level, email content, and subscriber engagement to determine whether to deliver an email to the inbox or the spam folder. By following deliverability best practices, you can improve the chances that your emails are delivered to the intended recipients. Today we're going to be talking about Amazon SES IPs and the differences between shared, dedicated IPs managed, and dedicated IPs standard. We'll discuss which IP environment to choose based on your email sending and your use case. We will also discuss how to manage your IP reputation, the IP warm-up process and how to achieve high deliverability rates with your dedicated IPs. Additionally, we will discuss the shared responsibility between you and SES when using dedicated IPs. This video covers the IP aspects of sending and deliverability but does not cover the domain reputation side which is entirely the customer's responsibility. Amazon SES offers shared IP addresses as a default option for new customers. These IP addresses are shared across multiple SES users. Amazon SES constantly monitors senders and stop bat senders who send unsolicited emails to maintain the reputation of the shared IP pool. The benefit of using shared IP addresses is that they require no additional configuration and are well known by mailbox providers as IPs with good reputation. It also provides optimized shared deliverability by automatically choosing the optimal IP to use when sending emails, which helps improve endpoint delivery of messages to the target email recipients. Even while sending in the shared IP pool, you will still need to follow sending best practices to avoid accumulating a negative reputation that could pause your account's ability to send email. SES takes precautions to protect your domain's reputation, SES IP reputation, and to prevent other SES users from experiencing service interruptions and deliverability issues. You will also need to maintain a positive domain reputation to ensure that your email communications reach your intended audience's inboxes. Shared IP addresses are well suited for customers with irregular or unpredictable sending patterns, as you can increase or decrease your email volume as needed without having to worry about warming up or maintaining a consistent sending history. Shared IP addresses don't incur any additional monthly costs beyond the standard SES pricing. Overall, shared IP addresses provide a simple and cost-effective way to get started with email sending through Amazon SES, especially if you don't have predictable high-volume sending needs. One limitation of shared IPs is that you do not have full control over the IP reputation, as it is shared across multiple customers. The reputation of the shared IP is determined by the quality and engagement of all emails sent from that IP, regardless of the individual sender. This means that even high-quality senders cannot independently improve their reputation on a shared IP, as it is impacted by the overall sending behavior on that IP. Our systems look for signs of abuse to identify bad actors before impacting the shared IP reputation. If we detect sending patterns or other characteristics that could lead to an IP address being added to a DNSBL or being blocked by major email providers, we send a notification to the sender. If the situation is severe, or if the sender doesn't fix the issue after we send the notification, we'll pause the sender's ability to send email until they resolve the issue. Enforcing our sending policies in this way helps reduce the likelihood that our IP addresses end up on DNSBLs and help maintain the overall reputation of the shared IP pool for all customers using it. Amazon SES also offers standard dedicated IP addresses that are reserved exclusively for your use. These dedicated IP addresses are dedicated solely to your email traffic, allowing you to maintain complete control over your sender reputation. Using dedicated IP addresses, standard, requires additional setup, including submitting a request through the AWS Support Center and configuring dedicated IP pools. 
After this initial setup, you'll need to go through a warm-up process to gradually increase your email volume and establish a positive sending history with mailbox providers. Once your dedicated IP addresses are warmed up, you'll need to maintain a consistent sending pattern to preserve your sender reputation. This warm-up process will be covered in more detail later in the video. Dedicated IP addresses, standard, are well suited for predictable sending needs and high-quality email traffic. It allows you to fully isolate your high-quality traffic from other SES customers and have control over your IP reputation and SBF records. This added control and exclusivity comes at an additional monthly fee per IP address leased. Overall, dedicated IP addresses, standard, provide sender isolation from other senders, hence, it's important to follow email delivery best practices while sending to avoid impacting your IP reputation and achieve a high inbox placement rates with other mailbox providers. The goal of the warm-up process is to ensure that email providers see a consistent, positive sending history from your dedicated IP addresses. This helps establish a good reputation and improves email deliverability. When you start sending email from a new dedicated IP address, you need to gradually increase the email volume sending from this IP and send only high-quality emails to establish a positive reputation with email providers. This process is called warming up the IP address. This gradual increase in volume is necessary because mailbox providers track the reputation of IP addresses and typically only allow higher sending volumes once they consider the IP to be of high quality. The warm-up period helps establish a positive sending history and reputation with mailbox providers before ramping up to higher volumes. For standard dedicated IPs, Amazon SES offers an automatic warm-up feature that is enabled by default. SES gradually increases the number of emails sent from your new dedicated IPs over a 45-day period by distributing your email sending between your dedicated IP addresses and SES shared IPs. If you have existing dedicated IPs that are already warmed up, SES will distribute your email sending between those and any new dedicated IPs, gradually increasing the volume on the new IPs. This warm-up process adds guardrails to protect your email deliverability. During the warm-up, it's important to send a high-quality emails to establish a good reputation with mailbox providers. If the traffic you send during warming up has any negative sentiment from recipients, this can have impact on warming up the IP over time. After the warm-up is complete, it is important to maintain a consistent sending pattern to maintain a positive sending reputation. In summary, the warm-up process is a crucial step in establishing a good sending reputation for your dedicated IP addresses on Amazon SES. Amazon SES also offers a managed dedicated IP address option, which provides the benefits of dedicated IP addresses without the need to explicitly submit a request to lease an IP each time you want to scale your email sending. With managed dedicated IP pool, Amazon SES automatically scale the IPs to and from your account based on your capacity volume. It also monitor the reputation towards each mailbox providers and adjust the daily quota accordingly to ensure a healthy warm-up towards each mailbox providers. The managed dedicated IP option comes with a standard monthly fee and a per message usage charge. There is no additional fee for more IPs as dedicated IPs managed scales IPs automatically. Dedicated IPs managed is well suited for customers looking for simplified IP management without manually leasing, warming up, and scaling individual dedicated IPs. With dedicated IPs managed configurations, you simply opt in and complete a one-time walkthrough to create your managed dedicated IP pool. SES then handles the warm-up process for each of your dedicated IP addresses, using an adaptive strategy to optimize the warm-up for different email providers. Overall, managed dedicated IP addresses in Amazon SES provide a more automated and hands-off approach to using dedicated IPs for your email sending needs, which requires you to follow email delivery best practices while sending to avoid impacting your IP reputation and achieve a high inbox placement rates. The warm-up process for Amazon SES managed dedicated IP addresses works a bit differently compared to the standard dedicated IP option. With managed dedicated IPs, the warm-up process is fully automated and adaptive. Intelligent warm-up. When you first start using a new managed dedicated IP, SES automatically begins the warm-up process. It starts sending a small volume of emails from the new IP and gradually increases the volume over time. Warm-up per ISP, SES tracks the reputation of each IP address in the managed pool individually for each email provider, ISP. 
This means the warm-up status is specific to each mailbox provider, allowing the IPs to be used for different providers at different warm-up levels. Adaptive warm-up. The warm-up process is adaptive, meaning it adjusts based on your actual sending patterns. If your volume to a particular ISB drops, the warm-up percentage for that ISB's IPs will also decrease. This helps maintain optimal deliverability. Shared pool transitioning. During the early stages of warm-up, any excessive sending volume is temporarily routed through the shared IP pool to protect the reputation of the new dedicated IPs. As the IPs become more warmed up, more of the sending is transitioned to the dedicated IP pool. The key benefit of the managed dedicated IP warm-up is that it's fully automated and adaptive, ensuring your new IPs are properly warmed up for each email provider without requiring manual monitoring and adjustment from you. You also need to send a high-quality emails and follow sending best practices to establish a positive reputation for your managed dedicated IP with other mailbox providers. Please note that enforcement by mailbox providers and routing to inboxes are still dependent on additional areas of delivery focus like content, list acquisition policies and retention policies and overall engagement from your audience. While Amazon SES handles the technical aspects of managing and scaling the dedicated IP addresses in the managed IP pool, the responsibility for maintaining a good sending reputation is entirely the customer's responsibility. SES automates tasks like IP address allocation, warm-up, and scaling to optimize the use of the dedicated IPs. However, you are still responsible for maintaining low bounce rates by keeping your mailing list up to date and send only to valid email addresses who asked for your emails, monitoring your sending reputation, and handling any reputation-related issues such as getting delisted from reputation block lists, RBLs, by filling up the delisting forms that's provided by most of mailbox providers. It's important to understand that the managed aspect in dedicated IP managed refers to the technical infrastructure management, not the complete handling of your email sending reputation. You must actively monitor your reputation and take necessary actions to maintain a good standing with mailbox providers. SES provides tools and metrics to help you track your sending performance like VDM, Virtual Deliverability Manager which is an Amazon SES feature that helps you enhance email deliverability by providing insights into your sending and delivery data, but the ultimate responsibility for your email reputation lies with you. This shared responsibility model ensures that you maintain control over your email program while benefiting from the automated management of the dedicated IP infrastructure. In summary, while SES manages the technical aspects of the dedicated IP addresses, you remain accountable for your email sending reputation and must take an active role in monitoring and maintaining it. In this part, we will go through your responsibility towards protecting your dedicated IP reputation. It's important to monitor your dedicated IPs by tracking both bounce notifications and SMTP response messages to identify the reason why the messages are being blocked or throttled. This monitoring helps protect your email sending reputation and allows you to quickly identify if your IP or domain has been listed by any RBLs and the reason for this to avoid and ensure a consistent email deliverability. Requesting removal of the dedicated IP addresses from any RBLs. If your dedicated IP address is listed in any RBL, it is not the responsibility of SES and you must request removal yourself directly to the RBL administrator. Managing the sender reputation and maintaining a bounce rate below 2% for the dedicated IP addresses. It is your responsibility to maintain a positive reputation of sending email that adheres to sending best practices, including opt-in policy, making it easy for people to unsubscribe instead of complaint, authenticate your emails with DKIM, SBF and Mark, and honoring unsubscribes by removing recipients from the active mailing list. In summary, Amazon SES offers three main IP address options, shared IPs, dedicated IPs standard, and dedicated IPs managed. Each option has its own benefits and use cases. It's important to understand the shared responsibility between you and Amazon SES when it comes to maintaining a good sending reputation. For shared IPs, the responsibility lies primarily with you to follow best practices and contribute to a positive sending ecosystem in the shared IP pool. With dedicated IPs managed, Amazon SES handles the technical management of the IP infrastructure, but you remain accountable for monitoring your sending reputation and addressing any issues that may arise. To be proactive in protecting your dedicated IP reputation, whether managed or standard, you should. 
Monitor SMTP response messages to identify any signs that the IP has developed a reputation of sending unwanted email. Request removal of your dedicated IPs from any block lists. Use high-quality traffic anytime you are introducing a new dedicated IP. By understanding this shared responsibility model and taking a proactive approach, you can ensure optimal email deliverability and inbox placement when using Amazon SES, regardless of which IP option you choose. This is the end of the Amazon SES email deliverability learning series focused on choosing the right Amazon SES IP for your email needs. Please be on the lookout for our next deliverability learning series video. I hope this video has helped you better understand what Amazon SES IPs, difference between shared, managed dedicated, or standard dedicated IPs and how to manage your IP reputation to achieve a high deliverability rates for your email sending. If you have any questions please post them in the comments. Thank you for your time.